Hello everyone. I would like to thank the scientific committee to give me the opportunity to present my work today. I'm Maxime Braillec and I'm a PhD student working at INRAE in Toulouse in the south of France. I am pleased to present my work on the identification of homozygous haplotype compromising fertility traits in dairy sheep in the framework of Smarter European Union project. The main goal of my work is to identify deleterious defects with recessive genetic determinism. We know that each individual carries one to five highly deleterious mutations in its genome. Especially in livestock populations, these recessive mutations can be found in the homozygous state and be responsible for genetic defects that can be lethal or viable. This lethality can occur during several development stages, at birth, or affecting the lamb. Genetic defects can be associated to health disorder that could lead to juvenile mortality or morphological disorders. Homozygous animals are counter-selected in selection scheme. When phenotypes and biological samples are available, it's easy to find the genetic determinism. For example, recently we identified a mutation in integrin beta-4 genes associated to epidermolysis bullosa in the French Vendée sheep. However, when we want to identify lethal mutation affecting the embryonic development, we are not able to have access to phenotypes and biological samples. The aim of the study is to use a reverse genetic screen method based on high throughput genotyping data to detect deficits in homozygous animals. Thanks to genomic selection, large datasets are available to identify lethal mutations with reverse genetic screen method in dairy sheep. We studied two French breeds, the Lacun and the Manège Tetrus. In these breeds, genomic selection was implemented in 2015 in Lacun and 2017 in Manège Tetrus. About 19,000 of genotyping data are available in Lacun and more than 5,000 are available in Manège Tetrus. In each population, genotyping concerns mostly male, and there are genotypes on average at 3 months of age on low density snip sheep, and from 1 year old on medium density snip sheep. All genotypes are phased, and low density genotypes are imputated to medium density. Almost all SNEEP present on the chip have a minor allele frequency higher than 5% and respect Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. However, for recessive lethal mutations, we never observed homozygous animals. As a result, to identify such mutation, we use haplotypes in strong linkage disequilibrium with the mutation. So, the strategy is that we assume that an haplotype is segregating in the population, but it is never observed in the homozygous state. That is to say, homozygous animals are not genotyped because they were not born or they were counter-selected in selection scheme. So, the hypothesis is that deficit of homozygous haplotype is associated to homozygous recessive mutation, resulting in embryonic to juvenile lethality. To identify homozygous haplotype deficiency, the first step is to use a sliding window along each chromosome to identify all 20 SNP haplotypes with a frequency higher than 1% on maternal phase. Then, for each haplotype, we compare the expected and the observed number of homozygous offspring by using within trio transmission probability. In the first trio, the offspring has its both parent genotype. However, in dairy sheep, many rams are genotypes, so when the genotype of the dam is not available, its genotype is estimated by the genotype of the maternal grandson and by the frequency of the haplotype in the population for the maternal grandmother. As a result, we compare the expected to the observed number of offspring and we only keep deficit from 75 to 100%. A p-value of the statistical test at genome scale less than 5 per thousand and we cluster all consecutive 20 SNP haplotypes with the same deficit. 
Those larger haplotypes are called lacun or managed tetrus deficient homozygous haplotype. We identify five haplotypes in lacun and four haplotypes in managed with total deficit. That means no homozygous animal was genotyped compared to the expected number. This expected number of homozygous animals reaches 21 in lacun and 12 in managed. Then these haplotypes have a frequency of heterozygous carriers between 3.7 to 6.7 in lacun and 8 to 10.5 in manish. Then we notify 6 haplotypes in lacun and 1 in manish with partial deficit from 75 to 96 percent, hence 1 to 6 animals have been genotyped. These haplotypes have a frequency of heterozygous carriers between 4.4% to 12.1% in lacun and 17.1% for haplotype 5 in Manish. The length of identified haplotypes ranges from 1.2 to 4.1 megabases locating on several chromosomes. However, in each breed, several haplotypes are located on the same chromosome. By analyzing linkage disequilibrium between haplotypes on the same chromosome, we identified that we could block several haplotypes due to their strong linkage disequilibrium. As a result, we identified the segregation of 12 putative recessive lethal mutations, 8 in Lacun and 4 in Manesh Tetrus. Our hypothesis is that if these haplotypes carry recessive lethal mutation, they might have negative impacts on fertility traits. In order to check negative effects on fertility traits, we focus on at-risk matings defined by the matings between carrier RAM and U coming from a carrier SIR. In this type of mating, we have the most important probability to have a normozygous progeny. This type of mating was opposed to safe matings that are the three of the combination of matings where no or very few homozygous progeny could be created. In Hugh gestation records, we focus on two binary traits. The first one is the artificial insemination success. Zero if the Hugh is not pregnant or one if the Hugh is pregnant, based on gestation diagnosis. And this is a good proxy for embryonic loss. The second trait is stillbirth rate, zero if there is no stillbirth in the litter or one if there is at least one stillbirth in the litter. And this is a good proxy for fetal or neonatal lethality. In order to do that, we use a logistic threshold binary model to compare artificial insemination success and stillbirth rate between at-risk and safe matings. So, I will present the result of this analyzes by classifying all haplotypes according to the effects. So, the first group is composed of two haplotypes in Lacun that have negative impact on artificial insemination success. We suggest that these haplotypes are both highly embryonic lethal mutation. The second group is composed of five haplotypes but according to leakage disequilibrium analysis, we show that these haplotypes could be clustered in only one region in Lacun and one region in Manish. And haplotypes in group 2 have negative effects on artificial insemination success and increase stillbirth rate. We hypothesize that these haplotypes are both embryonic or fetal lethal mutations. And the third group is composed of two haplotypes in Lacun, one haplotype in Manish, and they increase the stillbirth rate. So, this suggests the segregation of perinatal lethal mutation in the two breeds. For the fourth group, no significant effects were observed due to the small frequency of altruist matings. However, according to the high frequency of altruist mating for haplotype 5 in Manish, this haplotype is very likely to be associated to morphological disorder. So, the other question is to understand why these recessive deleterious mutations remain in livestock populations. In order to do that, we try to identify heterozygous advantage on selected traits. 
So, we identify significant heterozygous advantage on their traits in lack on breed. Heterozygous carriers have higher protein content for haplotype 1, lower lactation somatic cell score for haplotype 3, higher milk yield and protein yield for haplotype 4 and 5, higher milk yield for haplotype 7 and haplotypes on chromosome 18, and higher milk yield, fat yield, and protein yield for haplotype 11. So, we evidence the possible segregation of recessive layer 4 mutations in dairy sheep, 8 mutations in Lacone and 4 mutations in managed tetrus. The identified deficient haplotypes are specific of each breed, and the several haplotypes are associated to embryonic lethal or fetal or perinatal lethal mutation. And one haplotype in Manish might be associated to morphological defect. So now the idea is for each haplotype is to find the candidate causal mutation using whole genome sequencing data. The next step is to generate high trees matings fellow gestation and lumbing to clearly identify the associated phenotypes. And then is to manage matings in selection scheme to improve the overall fertility, lung variability and welfare, but also to take account heterozygous advantages on male traits or morphological traits. I would like to thank my supervisors, Carole Moreno and Stéphane Fabre, Apigen in La Région Occitanie for granting my work. Jean-Michel Astruc from Institut d'Élevage, Chris Ozé, Sébastien Fritz and Aurélien Capiton from Alice Company, and the Dairy Sheep Breeding Companies who made the genotyping data available for this study.